Good morning students. In this video, we will discuss how to find whether the two schedules are conflict equivalent schedules or not. Okay, so then I will explain with the two examples. First, let me introduce what is a conflict equivalent schedule. Let me take that I have two schedules S1 and S2. When I can say that they are conflict equivalent is they should satisfy two conditions. If they are satisfying the two conditions, then I can say that they are conflict equivalent schedule. Then you can ask me, what are the two conditions? The first condition says that the number of conflict operations in the both the schedule should be same. Okay. And the second one is that the order also should be same. Is it clear? The first one is that the number of conflict operations in both the schedule should be same. And also the order of them also should be same. Is it clear? So, I hope you have understood what is the conflict equivalent schedule. Let me discuss with an example whether these two schedules are conflict equivalent schedules or not. First, let me find what are the conflict operations in the schedule S1. What are the conflict operations are possible? If you take that there is a transaction 1 and transaction T2 and transaction 1 is having a two operations and transaction T2 is having two operations and the schedule is a non-serial schedule okay so first let me find if i want to find the conflict operation the first operation i need to perform is according to the schedule i need to perform read a from the transaction one this r is represents that it is a read operation and w represents sorry w represents it is a write operation so i am performing a read operation then after that what are the operations are performed by transaction T2 you have to check. So remember one thing, you should not look at the operations in the transaction 1 itself. Means you should not compare read A and write A. These two you should not compare because these two operations belongs to same transactions. You should always look at to the operations belongs to other transaction. Now read A then write A. Whether it is a conflict or not, yes it is a conflict. So what is the conflict? It says it is a R1 of A to W2 of A. What is the meaning of this one is that this read from the transaction 1, write in the transaction 2 on a data item A. Okay. Then read A, read A. Is it a conflict? No. Read, read on a same data item is not a conflict. So we have found that what are the conflict operations with this operation? Then in the schedule, next operation is write A from the transaction T2. So we will find now write A and write A. The both are write operations on the same data item. So I can say that it is a conflict. So what is the order? W2 of A to W1 of A. So it is not, it is a one conflict operation. Then after this one, anything else is there? No. Okay, so with this operation, I found that what are the conflict operations are possible. So now in the sequence, the next operation I have to perform is in transaction T1, I need to perform write A. Write A, then read A you are performing. Again, it is a, another conflict operation. What is the conflict operation? The same, write 1A to R2 of A, read 2 from a transaction on a data item A. And any other operations are there? This is the final operation. So this is the only one conflict operation possible with this operation. Now come to this one. If you see that after this read A, there are no other operations performed in the transaction 1. So I can say that this one is not conflicting with any other operations in the coming. So these are the three conflict operations possible with the schedule S1. Okay, now we will find what are the conflict operations possible with the schedule S2. So first one, write A, write A and read A. It is a conflict operation. So what is the order? W2 of A to R1 of A. Then this write and this write is a conflict. So what is the order? W2 of A to W1 of A. There is no other operation, so I can say that these are the only two conflict operations possible with this write operation. Now, next we need to go to the read A. Read A, read A is not a conflict. So, 
it is not creating any conflict operation now come to this read a read a write a is a conflict so what is the order r2 of a to w1 of a after that there is no other operation so this is the only operation conflict operation possible with this one now come to this one after this one if you see that in transaction 1 there transaction t2 there are no other operation so we cannot find any conflict operation so we have found three conflict operations for the schedule s2 also so what when i can say that two schedules are conflict equivalent it should satisfy two conditions what are the two conditions first the the number of conflict operations in both the schedule should be same yeah here you have three and here also it is three so the first condition is satisfied what is the second condition the order of the conflict operation should also be same what is the meaning of the order means lot of people will confuse they will write this order one two three here also they will think that if it is one conflict operation one is r1 of a w2 of a here also it should be r1 of a w2 of a but it is not like that the here it can be the conflict one here it can be conflict three also not a problem that order we are not looking meaning is that here also if it is one two three here also it should not be the same one two three they can be jumbled here if it is second conflict operation it can be a first conflict operation here we are looking at this order one and two okay let me discuss now if you see that r1 of a w2 of a anywhere such operation is there r1 of a w2 of a no you did not find okay so this one is saying transaction one to transaction two but this is saying that first you perform w2 of a then r1 of a if you see this it one this one is saying that first you perform the read in the transaction one then you perform write in this one whereas this one is saying that the same sequence but you have in a reverse w2 of a r1 of a this is saying that you perform transaction t2 then transaction t1 this one is saying that it is saying that first you perform the read in the transaction one then in the write operation so i can say that they are not the odd same order now come to this one w2 of a w1 of a if you have this one w2 w1 yeah this one is also saying that first you perform write in the transaction two then perform the write in the transaction one this is saying that write in the transaction two in the write in the then these two are okay now come to this one write one of a w2 of a if you see this one this is also in the reverse because here it is saying that you first you perform write in transaction one on a data item a and then it is saying that read in this one but it is saying in a reverse if you see this these two conflict operations are okay but these two are not in the proper so what i can say what is the second one all the conflict operations should be in the same order but if you see that two conflict operations are not in the same order then i can say that the schedule s1 is not conflict equivalent to schedule s2 okay i hope with this example you have understood how to find the two schedules are conflict equivalent or not okay for better understanding i will give few more questions in the next video so that you will understand thank you so much